<laughs> Sports fans, we are packing. It is Red Bull Hardline Tasmania. The shoes, unfortunately, I put a wash on earlier. 58 minutes, been going three hours. My shoes are wet, we need to leave in 40 minutes. Barney's been packing the boxes. I got some pants to go in. We're frothing. It's Sunday. This will probably be travel LSD and whatever we're up to. Maybe tomorrow we might be testing the last jump. But we'll see. We'll see how good it looks. But for now, we're going to pack. Come on, Hoover up. We're going to do some Hoovering. Eddie's on the burner laptop. Eddie, talk yeah. us through it, mate. Uh, what, are, what are we talking through? I don't know. Hardline? Are you uh, riding? What's going on? Well, as stiff? you can see, I'm very stiff. Uh, took a bit of a tumble on Wednesday and uh, knocked myself unconscious. And as a 34 year old male, um, I'm not interested in playing games in my head. So, so. I can't ride. And I'm fucking gutted because the course actually looks sick now. Looks so good now. So big up to everyone who's made it. But we're going to go there and rock Ebull Media House. Ebull Media House, check it out in the tube, baby. Yeah, it's coming in hot. Pretty gutted. Re actually, really good. Ledge trip, oi oi! Yeah, Ledge trip, oi oi! Get on with you. Alright, we've got a driver. Yeah, What's up, drive? That's not driving. Yeah! Drop her off, huh? I'm not sure. What yeah, are we doing? Oh, uh, we're just here. by my house to grab Dave's, Dave's wheelchair. wheelchair. I've, he's been staying at my house. <laughs> and we've got to take it back to um, Tasmania because it's on rental for 30 bucks a day. <laughs> There, the DRS is just kicking in. <laughs> DRS. DRS, DRS. Come on, in behind the Ranger. Cut him up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And we're here, sports fans. <laughs> He's loving it. <laughs> we checked through seat 14E. Oh, I'm going to view my seats. 14E, what are you? 17D. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's mine. He's got his phone. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie's already lost his phone. It would always come back to me though, see? It's got there. Just send me an email. <laughs> send him an email if you want. Got a monster air. Right, this is our boy Brad Sloan. He's flying in from Rotorua. Just special, special delivery. He's flying in just literally. Fit Brad, not Fit, fit Brad. Fit Different Brad. person. And he had to run. He said, there's no one I'd trust more than himself, fastest runner ever, to get from one plane to another. And we've got a special delivery coming in. And Recently ran a 37 minute 10k. I don't know what that means, but... High 37s, but that's pretty impressive. There you go. I see him, he's looking down. We're waiting. Look at this, hand delivered by the man himself. Go fit Brad! Oh! Look at this! Thank you very much, That's sir. You, you flew to Queenstown just for this. That's what a guy. How much money? What a guy. <laughs> 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 oh, what a guy. Right, I don't know if I want to show anyone yet. It's quite special, this one. All right, Brad is a hero. He thinks he's joining the 36 minute 10K club, so we're gonna have to keep tracking on that. But we are off. In the comments, Two post your best 10K. Yeah, let's hear it. Mine's about 39. Oh, this, way. this is international, this side. It is 39. Too much, 39. Yeah, it's too far. I ain't going running. That's secret den. I don't store anything here, but shoes off. Oh. Right, we're packing up from the zone. Unfortunately, my zip is just broken on my bag. What kind of bag is it? It's a douche bag, dude. I know. I, oh. I do like our bag, but it's a douche bag or it's DB. Kind of the name it's about a year old, barely, and the zip is just blown out. What a piece. DB. Hook a brother up. Hook a brother up. We're here. We're in Melbourne. We've landed. Bonnie actually came up with a good tip. I put one zip all the way around. So back to back in the game. We're cruising. Dark, it's like an old square airport, man. Whoa, 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 George, watch out! <laughs> hey, fans like power out, lifting her on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> She's on now, baby. Um, where's that? We hardlining? We hardlining? Are we? Are we what? So, like, so we've got Dave's wheelchair here, we're taking back, and I've leveled up. So I got my luggage on this. 
I'm a pretty dark, we just gotta find Barney's bag. I'm not gonna clear customs. Still, the big reveal is yet to come. So unfortunately, to this day, we're still not private jet flyers in Man and Viking, so this is how we fly. Yeah. <laughs> Any private jet companies out there, we're listening, we're looking for a chat, please hit us up. PJs, baby. <laughs> KC Till, we active, baby. Right, it's the first team trip of the year, so there's only one place to go. We're going to Maccas. <laughs> and we're only having... No a single combo each, no nuggets, <laughs> no extras, no, no, extras. no trapping. <laughs> you got that. Welcome. What are these? Eddie, where did these come from? <laughs> Eddie, I can't believe you ordered those. Give me a clap. Are you a plane clapper? Yeah, I'm going to start one on this flight. So, Bernie, <laughs> turn your GoPro on when we land and I'll get it going. It's going to be in your bed as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be an understatement. Give me your reaction before we show people what's there. I paid to watch a machine take a dump. Vlogging for the Bernard Carey YouTube channel. Yes, LSD, mate. Oh, no. <laughs> I get it. Have you, have you been to Mona? Oh, yeah, I've been to Mona. Can you watch the oh, machine? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it takes a shit. Yeah, okay, yeah. Johnny's just here and he won't even help load the bags. It's so bad. Well, let me just go through and help. I'm just gonna help quick. Load her up, champs. Dave, thanks, mate. Thanks, Dave. How are you? We're rolling deep, baby. We got Mick here. It was a lad's trip. Someone bought their girlfriend, Jim Monroe. <laughs> Here we are, it's Monday, is it Monday morning? Monday morning. Monday morning, clever. Here we are, our number one minder, Matthew Ball. We're finally in the car. Dan Afton, welcome back, welcome back. I'm terrified of Bowley driving. I'm a big fan. We are back in Medina. Your boys, your boys got a Mona and got a makeover. <laughs> the museum here. We're back and we're going for the first track. Finish track, preview Finish track walk. Rule. This is gonna be it. This is the Rebel Hardline track in Medina. You're about to see it right now. The sun is out. It's supposed to get cold at the end of the week, but for now it's good. Let's go see this finished track. Pre -track. Here he is, sports <laughs> fans. It's the pre track walk, MS. Pre track walk, track walk. Just in case we've got to change anything still, slash you do. Oh, yeah, right. And then main oh, track walk this afternoon. So a couple clips that? in this, and then the main oh, we'll start one more in the back. We're back, we're frothing. We're going to see the main track walk this afternoon, but the boys greased this bar. <laughs> if you can see the tire mark there, the sketchy one. Oh, I cannot wait to ride. Quick preview before main course. <laughs> that looks so rad and natural. Sports fans, internet keyboard warriors, everyone online, I'm happy to report they have steepened the landing. It isn't Wales, but it's much, much better. I bent both my pedal axles last time I was here on this and this time I think we should be good. <laughs> right, we're back. Obviously, this is the big, biggest concern. Our boy Dave McMillan, mad shout out. We're going to do you proud this week. Um, it's supposed to be, it was 101 foot last time. This is supposed to be 70 foot now. Oh, I do remember those bushes there. It's not steep when you get here. It looks really steep coming in at speed or anything. Oh, and it does look, actually, Way, way shorter when we get here. My new concern is overshooting. Oh. It's still really far, actually, isn't it's it? It's still quite a way. Like, I was just thinking about walking up last time. Fast as I can. Do I pull though or just ride off it now? Oh, it's hard to judge. I've still got nervous legs, I'm not going to lie, and try and be too cool for anyone. That's a big jump still. I think as fast as we can go, we'll give her a little pull later. There she is. My number one YouTube competitor this week. Oh, Gaster vlog. Hey, Ronan, Ronan Dunes on the scene. Oh, you on the scene as well. <laughs> Don't watch his channel. Yeah. 
Oh, 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 you're coming for it, yeah? Coming for yeah, the, coming for all five, We're going to be a five, 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 five or behind. Yeah, the A5. Tell those. Yeah, so if everyone. Briefing down. Let's go. <laughs> number 10, baby. What number are you? Do you know where it is yet? It's got one in it. We'll take it. Okay. It's just kind of giving that blessing for being here. Oh, yeah. baby. We at the top. Woohoo! It smells unreal. We've got a tradi traditional smoking ceremony and then the track was going to start. We've got snakes in Tasmania. See? They're three types and they're all poisonous. And they're scary. However, awesome traditional smoking ceremony. And uh, we're actually fully off for the track walk now, so you're going to see this in just a few hours. Sports fans, are you ready? This is going to be the first time at the official proper start. Red Bull Hardline Tasmania 2024. There's no branding yet, but this is it. We here, baby. Come on. Here we are. Here we are. Hardline. We're frothing. Yeah. Are the you vibe is, dude. I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah. The vibe is good. Is man. this is this the race of the year for you? This Wells Fort William, I reckon, is gonna be a big one this year. Yeah. But this is up there. For the is first it? one, yeah, it's not so, even a warm up. So yeah, you're straight into it. Straight in, boy. In the deep end. Get me in. Yeah. Love me in deep. <laughs> right, we got a stampede behind us. Actually, we need to look at this little line out the gate here. I'm sacrificing a quick line. And I think we're gonna chicane around here and in. I think you go on the side of the corner. That side or no, this side? No, 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 high side of the corner. High side of the corner, through. but here, it's a little yeah. snake in here. <laughs> You'd have seen some of this on mine, but then we're about to get so much good new stuff. Um, just so you know, if you do it, we'll copyright your video by accident and it will cancel all your money. I'll copyright yours. Copyright yours won't be up first, brother. Not a worry. Holy Toledo. That's yeah, gnarly. You don't want to go too fast. Yeah. Say, so, I'm so excited. We're going to kind of make this bit fast and sweet because you've seen it if you watched the first LSD that came out. And then we'll focus on all the new stuff and the, the rest of the rad stuff. We'll check out front because I do want to look at lines. <laughs> and I'm sacrificing myself for the dangerous snakes. Right, local man, Dan Booker. What have we got to say? Ah, uh, looks sick. This you guinea pig the cliff drop, right? Did you yeah, hit it yeah. first? Yeah. Guy greased it as well, so. That's good, yeah. It's looking good. The dirt off here is, ins yeah. Yeah, so good. I thought that's gonna be your little home track advantage for this guy. Knows the dirt. <laughs> oh, that's naughty. That is naughty, that is little woman. Naughty. Who is case that? Oh, that was Simo. That's Simo. <laughs> yeah, that's Simo. Simo, you bad dog. <laughs> yeah, pads and stuff. The, um, Gas George over at Crank Brothers. I've actually brought my Crank Brothers shoes a bed in it, just so good for track walking. And they're blocked in a trailer, so I'm in my new vans that I'm ruining, and I've already got blisters on the top of my left toes. But track, look at that weather. Huge squad coming. Course updates some squid, me, just stood sideways on it and made a hole in the landing already. But we got about 40 or 5 sets of tyres to come through instead. We got 45 sets of feet. Good luck. The race on Saturday. About this time. We got, the sun's high enough, but it's coming in a little bit to your eyes. Something to think about. Cool little section here into the next rock drop. I come from back there, you can hop into this compression and get a little pump. Because there's a tiny uphill here into this rock drop. And it'll be pretty cool. <laughs> And this is the first kind of gnarly feature. Oh, you ride on this? Yeah, you're like off this. Tap. What do you reckon, Georgie? Oh. Kind of gnarly. It's crazy. I feel like more afraid of heights standing here than I would going off yeah, this. Yeah, I know, dude. I feel We're all scared the same. just standing here. It's, it's a pretty good high. Drop, eh? Yeah. How do you make that? <laughs> it looks all right. This. Uh, you boy caught a Is this your first hard line? Did you do well? Yeah. Yep. Mad dog. He's keen for it. Yeah. He's here to put down the top step, aren't you? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I just want to see that logo somewhere on the podium. <laughs> The problem with Medania, or the dirt on this track, is it's so, so good, but then it's also quite soft. <laughs> it's like, good and bad. Right, so we're here, watch the little rock on your right. There's a lot of little connecting sections on the track, so you've got like, gnarly feature, tiny flat bit, gnarly rock garden coming up, but like, these bits are gonna make a difference. Even the hardest mar in the UK reckons it's proper. Proper, wow, we've got, proper, we got proper. doubters. Proper, yeah, we had doubters saying it's a bike park track. Who? Easy line. It's not a snow race. Keyboard warriors. It's not a snow race. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, you won't do any. Oh, we did go here, but yeah, this is all new built now. We went right now. Oh, yeah. When you guys went sh uh, left, we go right, a hook through. I see, so we hit that little thing and we go right, do we? Down we there, go right off that little, that little gap, yeah. Ooh. On the left. 
So we've got a little skipper right now and there's some fresh duff, which wasn't, we were going straight down there when we were here for testing, but we've got a little right here. She came before the next gnarly rocks there. Keep it light, nice little spicy rock in the middle there. So yeah, just to start up a little bit for this next section. This will be cool, little pump out. Who are you talking about, Matt? <laughs> Mr. John o. Jones. John O'Jones. John O'Jones, called out. Why They're too social, but never telling out. <laughs> too busy banking to get him. Yeah, yeah, too busy banking. Too busy banking in the city. On the old spreadsheets, mate. Is his brother coming? <laughs> Got the bro bros yeah. and buckles on, mate. Yeah, and this is the first real Nile Rock. It's not really a smooth line through here, as George was saying. Pretty tricky. Try and carry some speed out. This was Lomi, but Bernie from that many laps and so <laughs> You can't win anything these days. You can't you just... We've got a little skipper here over a track and then buckaroo jump. I don't know how to describe it. you got to really check up. Oh. <laughs> Shredder himself is known to do a few berm slappers. Ooh, baby. That is a head dragger. Did a 180 here. Oh my God. Yeah, because you slap a lot for it. Tiny pop. <laughs> Look how cool it looks at the side and the features. And green leaves. Crew, yeah. I've not seen anything alive plant wise for many months now. It's like an actual downhill track. Yeah, it's like an epic downhill track with perfect cool berms and then huge features. And good jumps, not and down. This is a lot steeper than it looks. Super off camera, there's a good high line because there's a horrible hole compression on the right. But you could stay high. Epic line, but. I might be on the Argo towels. They're like the Conti intermediate tyre. Crypto Zal is the dry, but I might be Argos. You know, there's a lot of, lot of loam up here. This is a weirdly tight left. Can you double up? Straight through. Yeah. Yeah, a little double. Nice. There's so much to remember on here. Here, yeah, a little hop hop. Stay right if you can. A little hot tip, Brayton. I'm listening, I'm listening. And then this was super awkward. They cut some root out. And it looks more flattened than it was before. What the fuck? But still, you have to aim more left. Well, I went very left, but there is more awkward, you think. Cool burn, and then this is it. I've actually been up to the top of this since I've changed it. Awkward rocky roll in. <sighs> a little bit nervous. Boy's done a lot of work since we were last here. And they have hit it, but how are we looking? I like this. There's a little checkup ramp on the way in. Dude, I'm still nervous. Bro, look at that. Oh, it's actually so good. So good, you can see it. And if you're on pedals, you're, yeah. what, 10 inches higher than I am now. So you can see it from all the way back here. I'm not gonna make this on so good. I love Hardline. And when it looks this rad, Dude. I cannot wait. Fuck me, look it's at it so now. So good. That is insane. And around we're the right, one, right, you know that berm right, after the yeah, rock off? in the berm. Start that, and then the one crank oh through, and God. you just roll. And then you just get the back wheel on this, let shit, off, slight pop. Slight pop. You have off to we go. Pop or you okay? Yeah, yeah slight pop. pop. Oh, <laughs> sick. So hyped. That's squad's no. hyped. <laughs> <laughs> squad's nervous, they're quiet. All right, and then into the next ah. jump. None of us hit this when we were here, but the boys have. It's super poppy and super fun. You've got to break for this a little bit. Dan and Darcy did a little brake tap. They cleared it super easy, so. Little brake tap, off we go. Into the gnarly rock slabs coming up. So you come off the jump, and there's a little rock hop here, maybe just straighten out this bit. It is fun, but we are here for a race. We haven't ridden this, but this could be one of the gnarliest, hardest line choice bits to actually carry speed. I don't know what you come in. No, fresh. There's a midline in and over the rock, I think. Check up back there. Come in high. And over, you're about to see how big. It looks smaller than here. These are huge rock slabs. Massive. But if you're upright in the turn wide, off the brake, carry speed. Yeah, I reckon high around the berm. I caught a double here earlier, but it is looking really gnarly now. Again. But maybe. I might film this in our pre-walk walk, but look at the size of this tree they've cut through it. It's like eight times the size of me at least. You forget to look up here, but these are so cool and so much harder than they look. Too many skippers. Unreal. The light could be a little tricky for race runs. Yeah, yeah, drive, yeah, survive, yeah, hardline. Yeah, sack off the World Cup. Some yeah, weird company's running that. Yeah. We want it for hardline. Gonna bang your head Gaster on that. Flats oh. calling a triple, or is it Booker? I'm not sure. 
It's a sick little double one. It's an, I know they look like bike park worms, but half of man and biking out is bike park and it is so fun. Especially when we got some gnarly rocks in between, but look at this forest. <laughs> We're in kind of like a mini highway here now. It's a skipper after skipper, which is going to be so good. Hopefully I'm good at carrying speed and pumping on these. We're going between these insane ferns. Well, it's actually rained here this morning, so this is a bit wet still. But it's going to be so fun to lap. Yeah, it's definitely still damp through here, but flying. <laughs> a real forest, like when you're a kid and you know what a forest smells like. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's, that's exactly the um, The hard thing racing this is a lot of it looks the same. It's like jump, jump, jump. I should remember, like, right, three, four, five, six. Which one's which? Over a roller here, left, right. Another two out, carry some speed. That'll be the tricky bit because there's a few of these jumps and rollers. It's not so much the whole, like. They're brand new shoes. My fault, I left my shoes in my bike box. It's in the thing lost. Through out the left, and then you've got a jump with a log, kind of a flat landing. This is me to watch this back as well, I'm going to try to, and land with good speed here. Any other riders are going to watch this, so if I remember back there to set it up, I should be able to inside and straight line this turn. You don't need that, hopefully. Inside should be harder dirt down the bottom, carry some speed, because it's really flat here. Out sure that, right. hop onto this, and then off again. Make it super hard to race, and through, and through. We'll do loads of laps. It's so cool with the ferns. There's a mini on and off back there, I don't even remember, over a little rock jump, and then this one's longer, because you can remember, let's have a little pool, let's have a little squash. Okay, this one's kind of long. How rad. You got a big arm on it. It's gonna like deteriorate <laughs> as well. Yeah, so it's like blowing out lomers. There's a lot of DH. Sick timing jumps. Massive features. Best track ever! So we come out of like the Conrad straight, pumpy, 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 and now we're into some serious. Can I jump in front? Sorry, please. Serious loam. Get loose, yeah. Super like, yeah, this is really soft and duffy. We got some whooped out loam. Anyone another kick out? I wanna know. Does anyone know how many kickers are on the track? Sammy G sent 27 unconfirmed. Is that actually the guess? I think if you've watched this and you think you've seen every kicker, count it up, say how many kickers are in the comments. We want, we want to hear it. Another one here. Booker says this turn is going missing because it's dry and dusty already. And you're going to be coming and cooking, baby. Back into another natural section. Like out there like a slapper, kind of turn out right. But you do want to set up a little bit because we've got another like little vert wall down here. Super loose dry dirt, rocks underneath. Oh, we kind of showed this in the pre-track walk, track walk. This thing is vert and so sick. Into very off camber straight. Loma to pad. I'm not counting this as lip sports fans. This doesn't count. And to more Loma or sawdust or stump lower up. And this, I think, is officially where Baxter's Highway kind of starts, just down here. We got a tenant, a guy from tennis filming Win TV or Red Bull, whatever it is, this week, and he thinks we're mental. He does think we're mental. He's like, these guys are insane. He can't <laughs> believe it. It's not quite the Australian Open. It's not quite the Australian Open. I watched a doc on that. Cool, but they're making up some big TV numbers yeah, there. It's and it's got everything, Ronan. It's got everything. This is Baxter's Highway down whooped out section a couple different line choices coming up oh, that looks cool. you've got to carry bulk speed out of that turn bulk speed for an on off firm say hard and there's a little line to start with to like test it but on off pretty cool i think they're going to put a post somewhere in here so you've got to come out round and shark fin um we're gonna to have to talk to red bull it's five on the dot now and the sun is very in your eyes. And if we're racing at this time of Saturday, the landing's so dark. You can probably see on the camera, you can't see a lot. Boom. Boom. Hard to call. Time is asking the time. 3 to 3.30. Sure, I think. But good for TV. And here, there's an outset berm. You might punch straight down to that. Because I think the high line at the end of this straight is going to be the one to carry speed around the right between these trees. 
a little berm, a berm here. Oh, and there's definitely another skipper over a track here. That's another lip. Count that one. Right there, it's kind of a flat roll here. But you have to keep your wheels on the ground and carry speed. You're going to be charging. Down through here. Hole hop. So this is where... Little skipper here. A turn that looks good now, I think. Again, going to get destroyed. And this is where I started for the road get before. And it was turn, turn after. So yeah, I start here and rolled in and hit a right and then I left it in. And now we've grown up, we got a little skipper and a really good down ramp. The boys still said they did a crank when they landed the other day. But I think honestly, it's gonna be a pump, go and just ride straight off it. No pull, not too much push to start with and just keep it good. Yeah, oh, well, it's, it's still big, but Wales is a scarier road gap. Well, well, well it's higher. Yeah, Baxter made me pedal into this, but at least he's built a good highway up there. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. Still cool. What do you reckon, Gracie? <laughs> Look big from here. <laughs> right. Yeah, but think how fast you are. You are going fast, but it looks massive from here. Might try and remember to put the phone clip in. That really won't. Yo. Put the phone clip in. That probably won't. That's all you, Eddie. Eddie wants the caveman off the, the container. Obviously, you've seen this before, but this is where it gets really good. And uh, yeah, well, right now there's so much wind, but we're not running right now, so let's hope for the best. We're really getting down to it, hey, Dennis? What do you reckon? Yeah. Fuck. I'm actually just insanely Sorry, I'm excited. not going to cut all this swearing out. But yeah, he's excited. We all are. This is super hard. And we're coming into the big dog. Here we go. We're going to come around the corner and see it. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> Pretty, yeah, the initial reaction's going off well. 70 foot, we're going to measure it this time. 17 to the back of it, Darcy. 69 to the back of it. To the back of it. So you can't go 69 feet. It's kind of an irrelevant distance. <laughs> but here's the big dog. Hey, we've got a tailwind as well, right? Woohoo, baby. It's such a cool jump once we're sideways and we clear it. <laughs> but I think we're going to be honestly so fine. Coming hot. Going to grease it. Going to grease it. Going to grease it. Not gonna lie, the crew's impressed. Yeah, Everyone's frothing. And it's 5.30 p.m. here, which is 6.30 in England, 7.30 in Europe. We're gonna get this up as quick as we can so you can see the new and improved full Rebel Hardline Tasmania. Rebel Hardline in Tasmania, class of 24. See you tomorrow. Sneak peek, this is where we're staying for the week. The campers, knock knock. Just trying to get my laptop.